Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day to all of my subscribers. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Valentine's Day. For today's video, I'm going to be keeping in theme with Valentine's Day by changing my hair a... What's with the noise? So to keep in theme with Valentine's Day, I figured I would do something fun by changing my hair color. So I changed my hair color once before and that was ugly. That was the ugliest color on my hair. It looked green. So one of my subscribers suggested I try a different color. So I said, well, Valentine's Day is going to be the next big thing coming up. So I said, let me try changing my hair like red or pink or something like that. So I went back to my local beauty supply store and I got the hot out from the Style Factor. This is from their um, Edge Booster line. And so I got red this time. Well, it wasn't red. It was magenta. They didn't have a red red like I thought. And they didn't have like a pink pink. So they had kind of like in between. So they had a magenta color and that's the color I'm going to be putting my hair today. So this is just for fun. This is not a serious video. I'm not permanently changing my hair color. This is just a temporary color just for fun, just for Valentine's Day and to see how this is going to look on my hair. So what I got is from Style Factor by Edge Booster, the Hot Out Hair Color Wax in the color magenta. And this product gives instant colored coverage with texture and shine. So this is supposed to be a one-step application to vibrant color and coverage. Dress your locks with a fast and fun application of pigment and shine. Coverage may vary depending on product use and hair type. So the last time I used the Hot Out um, wax, what is this, wax, hair color wax, it did go on very smoothly, so I had no problems applying it to my hair whatsoever. I just didn't like the color that I chose. So now we're going to go with magenta and see how this is going to look. I'm not going to put this in my hair any particular special type of way. I'm just going to start applying it like I'm applying any other product or gel to my hair. So here we go. touches my hair it's like a hot pink like a neon pink color but once I really blend it into my hair it turns into like a very subtle purple like color it's not bad actually okay so now that I kind of got an idea of what this is going to be looking like I'm just going to go ahead and just apply this all over my hair and then I'll come back with the final final So it definitely stains the hands. <laughs> Look at this. And then I try to put a little twist in here just to see how it looks twisted. And um, it's flexible, but it is a bit stiff. So we won't be twisting this up. But uh, let me just kind of spruce this up a little bit more. And um, I'm going to show you this in the bathroom because I'm not really sure how well it looks in this natural light. So I'm going to go into the bathroom and I'll show you guys how it looks. 
So I'm definitely looking like somebody's Muppet on the south side of Sesame Street. So here we are hours and hours later because it took for a minute for this to dry completely. So it is dry and I pinned it up in a mohawk and I just fluffed it out. So that's pretty much the look. This is pretty much the style. Turn it in all around. Okay. There is a little bit of flakage um, when I was kind of scrunching my hair and just trying to fluff it out. I did notice very um, fine particles that were um, all over the sink and on my shoulder, so I had to keep dusting that off. But other than that, I had no issues with the product. It went on smoothly. It actually had a very smooth texture to it, and so it made the application like really, really easy just to glide uh, over my hair strands. So it was just a really nice application. Full coverage, it did not take a lot of the product to put in my hair. That's all I have left there. I still have a good amount left. As far as what I think of the color, um, it's really not me. It's a pretty color, but it's just not, it doesn't go with my personality. Um, I'm not a bright color. Well, I'll take that back. If it was up to me, I would go with like a platinum blonde, but not just the, like the cheap looking platinum blonde. I like the, the type of blondes that are like the summer, the summery looks where it's all these different blondes. I like that type of color. But the reds and the purples and the pinks and um, I just don't think it goes with my skin tone. It doesn't go with my personality. But it is a pretty color. I really like the color as, as a matter of fact. Um, when I put it on it was more uh, neon pink and then when I started really working in the end it turned into like this uh, purplish color which is the magenta so I wasn't expecting to get a hot pink color or some red looking color but um, I got what it said which was magenta and when it dries it dries clear but as soon as you apply any type of liquid any type of moisture on it of course it's going to work back up the color so I have to be very careful. I'm not going to sleep in this because I do not want this color all in my bed and my pillows and none of that. I don't even want it in my um, on my satin cap. So I'm going to actually wash this out. But I just want to show you guys just this fun color, Valentine's Day, whatnot. I just thought it'd be fun just to try something different, try a new pop of color. Um, but I will say this looks a lot better than that green whatever that was gold looking color i had on my hair uh previously but i like it it's it's cute it's doable now i can definitely go out in this color because it's toned down it's it's not loud it's not like boom in your face of course someone will notice i have color in my hair but it's not going to be like oh that loud color see me from a mile away not that type of color so i, I do like the fact that i could go out with this color if I wanted to. I'm not going to. <laughs> but I do appreciate you watching the video to the very end and just seeing my final style and just how it looks. So if you're in your local beauty supply store and you happen to see this color, now you know what it looks like against um, like a darker hair color. I would imagine that the color um, of this would be a, a much brighter and richer color if it was on a lighter hair tone. But because my hair is darker, this is you know how it looks more like a burgundy type of look um but again when you first put it on it is it is this bright uh neon pink color but yeah so this is what i got this is what it looks like if you if your hair color is like mine this is the color that it turns out to be i think it's cute it matches my glasses a little bit so yeah it's cute so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next video bye guys